Okay, everyone, welcome to Scratch Junior. Today, what we're going to be working on is this little animation. So we're going to take the Scratch Junior cat, we're going to make him dribble the basketball across the court, and then he's going to dunk it. And at the end of that, he's going to say, I got hops. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to hit the flag up here. Um, right now, I'm in full screen mode, so you can see everything. And when I hit the flag, it's going to start the animation sequence. And there he goes. And up. And there's the dunk. And then he says, I got hops. So that's basically it. Let's look at it again. And there you have it. OK, now let's see how we can actually make this project from scratch. So you can see here, this is the interface for Scratch Junior on iPad. Um, the first thing you'll notice is the My Projects section. Um, there's already a pre-existing project called Scratch Dunk. Um, we're not going to use that. What we're going to do is we're going to actually start from scratch and we're going to hit the plus button here um, to create a new project. And the first thing you see when you start a new project with Scratch Junior is you're going to see the Scratch Cat um, in the middle of the screen. Uh, and this is the cat that we're going to animate. So why don't we start by adding the background? So the first thing we have to do is we're going to click on the little picture frame with the hills at the top. And that is going to take us to the background section. Uh, we're going to click on the gym. Um, and then we're going to uh, hit the check mark to uh, select the gym. OK, so now Scratch is in the gym, which is great. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to move his start position. So right now he's in the middle of the screen. If you actually just click on Scratch, you can just reposition him to um, this area here. And then when you hit the flag at the top right, the green flag, that basically is where you start from. So it's going to start at this position. And this is now set to be our start position. Um, we want him to be able to move towards the right. Um, so the first thing you'll notice here in this section here with the arrows um, is that these are all commands that can allow the player to move. So the cat is our player, and we want him to move to the right. So if I take one of these, you'll notice that he moved to the right. And if I took one of these and I click on it, he moves to the other side. So to make him move towards the basket, what we're basically going to do is just change the number in here. Uh, and what this number refers to is if you click on the grid uh, up here in the top um, middle of the screen, you can actually see how many units um, he has to move to get closer to the basket. So if I change this to a number like 14, let's say, um, and click on it, let's see how far he goes. Um, so he's pretty close to the basket. So let's move him back to the start position. Um, and then you'll notice that Scratch is um, the Scratch Cat is a little bit big. So if I click on this second button here with people, um, you'll notice that there's a couple options here. One is for a speech bubble. Another is to make uh, your character bigger. And then this one is to make the character smaller. So if I bring this down here and click on it once, click on it twice, now I actually made him a bit smaller. Um, and then we don't actually have to keep this in our script. Um, this area down here where we put the arrow uh, is our scripting area, but we're not going to include that. We just, I'm um, going to change his default size. And then let me move him down to around the seven mark. Um, and then let's see. Uh, actually, let's move him down here. And this is his new start position. And then let's see what happens when he moves. Okay, that's pretty good. So uh, maybe actually make this 13 oh, to reset a start position. So when I hit back to the X, it goes back to a start position. And then when I hit the flag, um, well, actually, we don't have a flag. So if we go back to the yellow tab, um, we can add the start flag, which basically means start this script, um, start this sequence of commands um, as soon as I hit the flag. So now when I hit the flag, it's going to run that command. And then there you go. So that's uh, our Scratch Cat. Um, now, we don't just want him to move forward. We also want him to jump. Um, and the way we can do that is by going back to this tab and then adding a vertical aspect here. Um, and then let's make him go up by four, four boxes, basically. Um, and then 
Let's see what that looks like. So he goes up, then he jumps. That's pretty high. He does have some hops. And we do want him to move a little bit towards the right so we can finish his dunk. Uh, and then we want a little bit of a bouncing action. So the way we can do that is we're going to add another arrow here. So he moves by one. And then we're also going to add this little um, hop. And then we're going to set it to one. So he's going to do a little bit of a, a hop like that. Um, and then we can basically finish off the script. So this red area here, when you put that, that basically means that's the end of the animation. So let's go back to the start position. And then let's hit the flag to start the animation. And there you go. But we also want him to come back down. So let's uh, go back to this arrow here and then bring one of these. And then let's bring him back down four because he jumped up by four. Um, and let's see what happens now. So back to the start position, hit the flag. And there we go. And now he's back down. Perfect. So that's Scratch the Cat. Pretty good, I think. So let's bring him back to his start position, but he does need a ball. So let's add another object. So if we go underneath the, the cat on the left here and we hit the plus, uh, it gives us the option to add different characters, um, but there's also some objects down here. So here's our ball. So we're going to add our ball by clicking on the checkbox. And here we have a ball. We're just going to move it by dragging uh, on the canvas. We're going to move it close to him. Uh, but the ball is also a little bit too big, so let's click on the person icon again, and then let's shrink it to be uh, as small as it can be. Now let's put this back because we don't actually need it. Uh, and then for the basketball, uh, it needs to do two things. It needs to move similarly to the cat, um, but then it also needs to bounce. So we can actually run two different scripts uh, in the scripting area, but let's start um, by having the same sequence that we have for the cat. So let's try to do the exact same thing. So let's start with our flag. Um, and then let's run that same sequence where we go to the right by 13. And then we go up by 4. And then we go to the right by 1. Then we hop by 1. And then we come down by 4. And then let's close that off. And there's our sequence. So that is our starting position. And then as you notice, when we hit the play, they all move together. So that's really good. So we're getting pretty far right now. There you go. There's the dunk. Um, but we would like him to actually dribble the basketball. So how do we go about dribbling the basketball? That is uh, a different challenge. So the way we can think about dribbling the basketball is what we want to do is we want to loop the action of the ball going up and down. So let's add a flag here underneath. That basically means that this sequence down here will also start when you hit the flag. Uh, and then what we're going to do is first the ball is going to go down and then the ball is going to go back up. So up, down, up, down, and then we're going to close it. So if I did this one time, you'd see there'd be one bounce. Um, but now we're going to introduce a special concept in programming called a loop. So if I run this loop here, um, basically says that we're going to repeat this four times. So if I run this, one, two, three, four, and then it stops. Um, but we're going to run it more than four times because he's going all the way to the other side. So let's say 10 times. And then let's just see how far that goes. So let's run the, let's hit the flag in the top right and then just run the whole sequence. So the ball bounces, he goes up, and then it comes down. So let's take a look again where it stopped. So maybe we can stop it a little bit earlier, maybe at nine. Uh, and then let's run it again. So start again, dribble, up, and then there's your dunk. Uh, so let's take off the grid and take a look at this and see how close we are to the final product. He's dribbling. 
he jumps, and then there's the dunk. So this is actually not too bad. This is not too bad at all. Um, I think we're pretty much close to exactly what um, we had in the original, um, but I will take a look to make sure that um, we have the exact same thing here. Oh yeah, there was a speech bubble, um, but you can see here, yeah, we moved to the right by 13, went up by four, to the right by one, down by four, and then uh, there was a little bit of a hop at the end. Okay, so let's add that hop um, in the final position for the basketball in the other project. So let's add the hop up. Maybe we have to go down, then hop. So let's do it like that. And let's take a look at that sequence, what it looks like. The ball goes up. And then it hops. Okay, yeah, so there's a little bit of bounce right at the end. So now let's come back to the beginning and then run the sequence together. And there we go. Pretty good. So there's our dunking uh, cat. <laughs> let's restart it and then let's make this full screen so we can see the final product. So there we go. Dribbling cat. He jumps and then he dunks the ball. Um, oh, but then we wanted to also. Um, have him say something at the end. So when he actually comes down, we're going to go back to this um, person icon in purple, and we're going to add a little speech bubble that says hi, and that says, uh, I got ops, exclamation mark. Then let's add a little um, finger pointing up emoji and then the up there we go so now i'm going to restart full screen hit that and he's going to dribble over dunk the ball and then he's got hops perfect <laughs>